right, we're going to fill it a tuna. It's only my second one. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start by chopping his head off. So use your bleed holes behind the pec fin to cut down behind the pelvic fin and up around the shape of his head. Then give it a big twist and pop, off she'll come. The next step, we are going to cut along the top and bottom of the fish as close to the bone structure as possible. I really sucked at this part. And as you'll see later, I left a lot of meat on the frame, but try and keep your knife pointed slightly down and use the bones to guide you across the fish. Do this each side of the fins, top and bottom, equaling four cuts. From here, you're gonna slice down the lateral line of the fish head to tail on both sides. Now you'll have four fillets of tuna. One fillet on each side will still be attached to the fish as it has the spine in it. So make sure you cut those bones out and the fillet will fall off nicely. Perfect, <laughs> ish. Time to skin the fillet. Start with a little incision at the end about a centimeter away just to give you something to grip onto and then slide that knife along the fillet it takes practice let me tell you <laughs> then i trimmed away all of this darker flesh that looks like it's got a bit of blood through it don't be afraid to just cut 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 until you're happy with the look of the fillet The two belly fillets will have the rib cage in it, so pop your knife in behind those bones and fold it around and down until you cut them out. And then you guessed it, it's time to remove the skin from these fillets as well and trim them up. Here we have the very last fillet to skin and guess what i nailed it like i said practice makes perfect and it's as easy as that one tuna filleted in less than 10 minutes now where's the wasabi 